was a kid, I remember looking all over the place for Heavy Metal Mater, but all I could ever find were McQueen and Eddie and Rocky. That's because, unbeknownst to me, at the time, the only way to get Heavy Metal Mater was in a four-pack that included, ironically, the three cars that I already had, and also Mater. I had no idea at the time that he was only available in the four-pack, so I was pretty disappointed that I couldn't find him. For years, I only had these three until I finally picked up Heavy Metal Mater in his 2013 three-pack uh, just a few weeks ago. Got it at the start of June. So now, I finally have a full set of the band. Because of that, because I recently picked up Mater and he comes in the three-pack with Eddie and Rocky, I was able to take a good look at them in a modern review of mine just last month. But that left Heavy Metal McQueen all by himself, a car that I haven't reviewed since March 29th of 2018, which is six years ago now. I hate to break it to you guys. Where Where is the time going? Well, luckily for me, Heavy Metal McQueen was submitted as a birthday request, meaning I can take a look at him once again. Anyway, guys, welcome back to another review. Today we're going to be taking a look at Heavy Metal Lightning McQueen, a birthday request. Oh my gosh, I can't talk today. A birthday request from Eduardo Aguero. Hope you're having a great birthday, as always. If you guys have a birthday coming up and you would like to submit a request, you can feel free to do so in the comments, as long as your birthday is coming up in the next few weeks and your suggestion isn't a car that's out on shelves right now or a car I've reviewed in the past year. Those are my two little stipulations. Um, yeah, happy birthday, Eduardo. I hope you're having a great day. Eduardo is someone that I've really gotten to know over the past year. He's a very active member over on my Discord server, um, which is closed currently to, to new members. We're hoping to reopen it at some point soon, but he's a very active member over there. He always has some interesting stories to tell or interesting thoughts about the car series, and uh, he always does very good documenting of what cars he's getting, and one of the cars he ordered for his birthday was... Heavy Metal McQueen, um, and so it's so fun to see another collector building up their collection, you know, that, that's a fun thing about being in this fan base. I get to grow my collection alongside other people, and people like Eduardo, who I, I get to watch their collections expand and see what items they're interested in and, and what they're working on and what they want to get, so once again to Eduardo, hope, hope he has a great birthday, and I hope you enjoy this review. Anyway, Heavy Metal McQueen here is based on a regular McQueen, but with some special modifications, of course, like the big old wraparound leather jacket-esque thing. You've got his hood with the bolts here, which kind of look like studs, which is a nice detail. Unfortunately, the coloring isn't one-to-one -one with these two. Uh, McQueen definitely has lighter coloring on him, a bit more gray than it is black for the leather segments. Perhaps that's just my McQueen showing its age. Maybe if you bought him new in box, he would be more vibrant. I'm not entirely sure. I always really like this expression, and I also always love the fact that his eyes are fully detailed down there. If you took the visor off, this thing would probably look cursed. I would not advise taking it off, because then you would break a pretty uh, interesting and uh, notable item. Now, I have a pretty funny personal connection to this McQueen beyond just the, the story of how I got him that I told at the beginning of the review. My first ever subscriber and my first friend on YouTube, FabulousCarsan129, was uh, working on a car series where he had a villain in it that was portrayed by um, by McQueen here. And, and his name was Nightmare. And, uh, yeah, he was a heavy metal McQueen, and he was this, this separate evil character. And I always thought that was clever, using a character that, honestly, barely passes as a McQueen design. You know, there are certain McQueen and Mater designs and main character designs out there that you could totally pass off as a separate character if you wanted to. So he took that, and he ran with it. And, uh, unfortunately, I don't think what he was working on, where I was the voice of Nightmare, ever came to fruition. But still, super fun. You can see that very awkward mouth plate gap there. And a very cool stylized lightning bolt. Earlier today in my, my thoughts video on the new NASCAR wave, I was talking about how cool it was to see them make Willie's Butte the lightning bolt. It's always nice to see when they do more stylized lightning bolts for McQueen. He, of course, has these really big uh, fenders here, which are actually a part of the mold. This McQueen is technically a unique mold because he is very specially constructed to fit all this stuff on. He's also got his nice silver wheels there, which appear to just be McQueen's regular wheels repainted. They are also missing the Lightyear logos. He does have his Lightning McQueen signature up top there, and on the back, 
His spoiler continues to have that studded design going on all the way around it, although these studs are much smaller and just painted on instead of 3D pieces that are part of the sculpt. There's a look at the back, the other side, and finally a look at the base. A very impressive item, one that I honestly oftentimes overlook because this is a McQueen I've had, you know, since he first came out in 2010. This was one of my childhood McQueens, you know, so I, I don't know. I, I feel like I oftentimes don't give it the respect it deserves, but Heavy Metal McQueen, uh, you rock. Pun very intended. That pun was so good. I'm going to end the video right here. I'm not even going to do my, my regular outro. I'm just going to cut it off right here. Fine, I'll do the regular outro. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye now.